Our exclusive post-game coverage continues with the Cougar Locker Room Show. Doubles to the free throw line, gets to TJ, pulls, fires, scores from three. TJ Haas rattles it home. Now let's head back to the Bryant Heating and Cooling Comfort courtside seats and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Welcome back courtside here at the Marion Center, Provo, Utah. BYU a winner over Pacific tonight. Final score is 69 to 59. It is time now for our Sport Court courtside interview. It's brought to you by Sport Court. Champions start here. Learn how to design yours at sportcourt.com. And joining us this evening, coming off the bench with 13 points, one off a career high, is Connor Harding. Connor played almost 27 minutes tonight as BYU pulls away late, but it was a late pull away as the Tigers made things more than interesting. Connor, thanks for coming on. Congratulations on the. Uh, fine individual effort and the team win thank you i appreciate it this was a grinder right people say oh 10 point win no big deal this was uh, this was hard to get wasn't it absolutely pacific um they just uh, they play hard every possession and they're not going to go away easily and so they're an aggressive team and they they're on attack 24 7 and so we knew that it was going to be a grind all the way to the end how was the game plan shaping up tonight? Just a couple key components that you thought had to get done that you think in the end probably did do well enough. Yeah, you know, we uh, we had to stop number four. Um, that was one of our game plans, and to stop their direct uh, line drives because they're a driving team, as you can see. They get to the basket, and they draw fouls. And so it was stopping uh, their, their drives and also not fouling them. And, you know, we did a decent job of that. Um, we could have done better, but we also held them to 59 points, so that's, that's pretty good. And only 17 free throw attempts is well below their average, too. Mm-hmm. Well, Connor, terrific job tonight. Uh, I loved how you played. You know, back way back when I played, which is the, the dark ages, they didn't have all these fancy stats, Connor, okay? It's plus minus. You're, you lead the team with 13 plus minus. I used to do that in my head because I wanted our team to be ahead more when I went out than when I went in. Do you guys think about the plus minus at all with the stats? You look at that. Is that an important part of, of the game for you guys? Um, I, I don't really look at it. I, um, I don't look at that stat. The most important thing to me – um, the most important stat to me is uh, what we call kills on our team. And if we can get three stops in a row, then usually um, we, we get a lead. Because we're hard. I feel like we're pretty hard to stop offensively um, if we keep attacking and we're aggressive. And we just, if we just get some stops and finish out with some rebounds, and then it's, it's hard to beat us. Yeah. 13 points, uh, one off a career high, as I noted. How would you say your game is coming along as you've occupied different roles? You've been a starter. You've been coming in as a reserve. Uh, how have you looked at the recent change and how you've responded to it? Yeah, it's just, you know, whatever they call me to do, you know, i got to be ready to do it. i got to step up. And, you know, I've kind of went through a slump the last couple of games, haven't really given that spark. And so it was just, you know, just – calming down mentally and being able to, to play my game. And that's what I kind of felt like tonight. You don't look at it necessarily as something that has to be taken as a negative. You can build off the new assignment, the new role, and, and still contribute, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, everything is a learning process. You know, sometimes coaches, you know, they have the same motive as, as me, and that's to win. And so they try to put people in situations where, the, where they can do good. And so, you know, you know, Nick starting, you know, Nick had a big game that last game, and he won us the game, and he hit some big shots there. And so, you know, I just learned from it and saying, you know, this is what I can do and just just thinking about it and just growing as a basketball player. Visiting with Connor Harding, part of BYU's 69-59 win over the Pacific Tigers. BYU in the Dave Rose era has never, ever lost a game when the team doesn't get to 60. BYU now 95-0 when keeping opponents to 59 or fewer. And BYU's opponent tonight scored 59, right on the number. Back with Connor Harding after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the Cougar Locker Room Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Up to the minute standings on the West Coast Conference. Uh, BYU at 8-3, and three, trailing Gonzaga 9-0. and oh, The Zags well on their way against St. Mary's. Should St. Mary's lose tonight, they'd fall to 6-4. and four. USF with a home win tonight would go to 6-4. and four. So either way, BYU would be a game and a half up on third place when the night ends. BYU takes care of business. Defeating Pacific by a score of 69-59 to 59 tonight. Visiting with Connor Harding in our Sport Court courtside interview. So, Connor, you've just gone through uh, the team's first road home weekend split where you play two games in two different states and do the travel thing. How do you think the team responded to the quick turnaround, getting a game plan in and executing? You know, I thought we did very well with our game plan. You know, obviously, you know, McKay and Nate got in foul trouble. But overall, I think we threw them out of their normal flow of their offense and had made them do different things that they're not used to. And so 
I thought I thought we did perfect. I thought we were focused and we kept to the game plan, and that's why we won. Hey, what about your uh, fellow freshman, Gavin? I mean, he's just playing great. How fun is it to, to see what he's doing on the floor? You know, all season I knew that we were going to need him somehow. And, you know, he just, he's just found his confidence, and he feels comfortable now, and you can see that. Um, <laughs> you throw it up to him, he's going to dunk it. You know, he, his length, he's going to cause shots to go, go off the backboard. He's going to get blocks, different things like that. And so, you know, he, he's big for us. And so we need him to keep, you know, keep improving, keep doing things like that. So from freshman to senior, and that's Luke Worthington, you guys make that 11 nothing run in the final minutes, and Luke had uh, four of those 11 points, made two big buckets for you. Absolutely. You know that the layup at the very end, I loved. I was like, oh, come on, Luke, come on, Luke, and, and he laid it in. And, you know, I'm, I'm just excited for him because, you know, he's always on the bench cheering us on, a good leader, doing, doing the right things for our team. And so something like that, you know, he deserves it. Okay, 8-3 and three in league. You're in a good spot. Uh, work to be done, though. Five games left, and you hit the road for three of them. This week, San Diego, LMU next up. Uh, just the, the importance of, of keeping that single-minded focus with you as you try and lock down what you can lock down here in the league standings. Yeah, you know, every game is going to get bigger now. And so we're just going to have to focus. And, you know, we're, we put ourselves in a good situation to be second. And, you know, we just need to keep going with it. We need to keep going and winning games. If not, then, then we're going to put ourselves in a sticky situation. But, you know, if we want to make a run, then we're going to have to win these games at the end, at the end of the year. You saw the halftime score from Spokane. Newsflash, Zags are really good. <laughs> the Zags are really, really, really good. <laughs> you know, it was really hard to play them. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to – I think the whole team is excited to, to go and get, a second, crack at them? get yeah. a second chance at yeah. them. You know, we didn't give them our best game. And, you know, we had a perfect crowd for it and everything, you know. But – it would just be better to win up there. And good things have happened up there, as you know, over the years for BYU. But that's a few games away. For the time being, it is on the road to SoCal. We'll see you there next week. Connor, thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate All right, it. That's Connor Harding and our Sport Court Courtside interview, part of our Cougar Locker Room Show. All right, Coach Dave Rose, and then also comments from Damon Stoudemire still to come here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. <laughs> 